in these bleak times, I have decided to run for truth and justice, which takes the form of running for president of the United States as a candidate for the People's Party. Cornell West, Cornell West. I have a lot of respect for Cornell West. He is a multiculturalist. I don't respect that, but I respect him. Great, great elder, great scholar, great mind. Him running for president, I believe that he's doing this so that certain issues are highlighted. Cornell, to his credit, Dr. West, has been a strong critic of both the Democratic and the Republican Party. Strong critic. He's been a great critic of the Democratic and Republican machines. So him running for president on the surface is not a bad thing. It could be a good thing because it's going to force a lot of issues to the table that normally would not be discussed because he is relatively popular. He is well known, Dr. Cornell West. If he runs for president, his voice will be paid attention to. His voice will be paid attention to. And in raising his voice to address certain issues, the Democratic and Republican parties will have to grapple with many of the issues that Dr. West will discuss that they have been ignoring. OK. He will force issues to the table that the Democrats and the Republicans don't want to address. So from that perspective, I welcome his candidacy from that perspective. I welcome his candidacy candidacy, but the threat here is the other side of the argument is Cornell West being used by the white power structure is Cornell West being used by the white power structure to re-energize the black vote because Joe Biden's points are down 30%. Black people turning out to the polls in this last election was down 10%. So what they did with Jesse Jackson in 1984 and 1988, what they did with Jesse Jackson in 1984 and 1988 is the Democratic Party used Jesse Jackson to run for president to energize the black vote. Everybody knew Jesse would not win, but Jesse Jackson re-energized the black vote and delivered black America to the Democrats. He delivered black America to the Democrats. Al Sharpton did the same thing. Al Sharpton knew he wasn't going to win no presidency, but he energized the black vote and delivered it to the Democrats. Did Cornell West strike a deal? Did Cornell West strike a deal with the Democratic machine? Did Cornell West strike a deal with the Democratic machine to energize the black vote? Energize the black vote and deliver it to the Democrats on the eve of the presidential election. That's my only concern. I don't think so. I do think Dr. West is his own man. I do think Dr. West is his own person. I do think Dr. West running for president would force the Democrats and Republicans to address and discuss a lot of issues that otherwise will be ignored. But at the same time, I hope this is not a Machiavellian move. I hope this is not a Machiavellian move by the Democratic Party to recapture the allegiance and imagination of black America through Cornell West. Now, I'm also concerned, Dr. Cornell West. I'm also concerned, Dr. Cornell West, as to whether or not you're going to focus on black people's issues 
or are you going to be a multiculturalist? Because if Cornell West is going to be a multicultural presidential candidate, that will hurt black America. That will hurt black America. That will hurt black America. So all due respect to Dr. Cornell West, who I respect, dear elder, dear elder Dr. Cornell West, if you are going to be a multiculturalist during your presidential campaign, you will hurt black America because you will help the Democrats and Republicans take the attention away from black people. We already have enough attention being taken away from issues that affect black people. So for all of you who are friends with Dr. Cornell West, can you please find out whether or not he's going to be partial to black people or if he's going to be a multiculturalist presidential candidate. If he's going to be a multiculturalist, we do not need him to run. Cornell West, please don't hurt your people. Do not run for president if you are going to be a multiculturalist. Dr. Cornell West has a snow bunny. Are you sure? Can somebody confirm the allegation that Dr. Cornell West is married to a bunny? I, I never heard that. Can that be confirmed? Can that be confirmed? Can somebody confirm if Dr. Cornell West is married to a snow bunny? Can that be confirmed? Can somebody please confirm? Text me a picture of him and his wife to my cell phone. Text me a picture of him and his wife to my cell phone, 215-989. 9858-215-989-9858. Text me a text. I didn't hear he had a snow bunny. Arabs are still bunnies because Arabs are Caucasians for purposes of the U.S. Census. In the United States of America, Arabs are Caucasians. So if she is Arab, she is snow bunny. Can somebody confirm? Can somebody confirm? Can somebody confirm? Let's move on. 